Monday morning. I know a lot of y'all like, man, it's too early. But uh, I'm wide awake. Definitely not too early to talk about life. accept the truth. People don't want to accept the truth. So the lie, the lie or lies will hurt them. As long as you accept the truth, you cannot be hurt. But most people, uh, they're not going to accept the truth because they have allowed options to, uh, People have allowed options to blow their head up. In other words, people don't realize that everybody has options. Even a 500 pound ugly woman has a whole bunch of options. The, the, the twist to all this option bullshit is though, the twist to all the option shit is, uh, most of them are not real options. Right? So just because you have options, it does not mean they're real options. And if you do not accept this, you will more than likely pick the wrong person and you will more than likely waste your time on people and you will more than likely get burned. As a woman, you have to understand a lot of men are only out here to fuck and you're no different, you're no exception. The only way you're an exception is if the man really likes you and really wants to be with you. And sometimes this gets twisted with thirsty or this gets twisted with I'm not attracted to him because I think I'm more attracted to somebody who don't want me. Or this gets twisted with he doesn't have a lot of women around him so he must not, I don't want that, I want the validation of a man who seems to have a lot of women. So they're going to uh, usually go after the wrong motherfuckers. No woman should allow options to blow her head up. I don't give a fuck how good she looks. She could be the best looking woman on earth. Even then, she still has a bunch of options who only want to fuck. Most men are only talking to her because they, they look at her or whatever and they want to fuck. Not necessarily because of who she is. So this is very important. If you are a man, a lot of women already have, they're already talking to a whole bunch, uh, a lot of other guys. They might not be serious with a lot of them. They might not even want uh, any of them. Or you might have some who are in their feelings with somebody or something like that. But the point is, there's always somebody else. And this is why I say, As a man, don't even go after a woman. Let her come after you first. And I feel like as a woman, instead of waiting for the type of guy you want, just put yourself in that guy's presence. You don't gotta shoot your shot. Just put yourself in his presence somehow, some way. You know, his little bubble, that's it. A woman could go in a man's inbox and ask a dumbass question. That's that's all. You'll know right there if the man like you or not, because he'll start interacting with you and trying to interact. It's not that hard for a woman, but they sit back waiting for some perfect guy, and you know what they're gonna get? They're gonna usually get nine times out of ten a guy who says, "I'll just holler at a hundred women, and even if I only get one, uh, I'll just holler at a hundred of them, as long as I get one." And that's what type of guy you gonna get? The guys who just want to be out here trying to fuck women who are out here just trying to talk to any and everybody. The guys who really are trying to be with somebody and have a lot to offer, a lot of times they're not going to go after a woman because they already know and understand that a woman is talking to a lot of people and they already, they, they have a lot to lose. They, they're worried about picking the wrong person. If they was just trying to out, be out the fuck, they wouldn't care. But since they're out to actually try to be with a woman, they do care. So therefore, they're very cautious. 
And a lot of those guys are also just working on their life instead of being out fucking with other women. So a lot of times women who have these big heads about, I have all these options. For one, what type of options you got? For two, a lot of the real options, solid, good pick options, a lot of them, the reason why you can't, where's the good men at? Because the good men are out handling their business. They're not out trying to fuck a bunch of women. Because you gotta pick one. It's impossible for a man to be out fucking a whole bunch of women and still handling business as a man. Unless he's a celebrity or, you know, like an athlete or something. But that's the only reason why that's the case is because women are coming to them. That's the only reason why they can have a lot of women. But your average man out here, no way. It's impossible. How can I do all this work that I'm doing right now and still have energy and time to manipulate and lie to a bunch of women and, and make time to see them and go out with them? I can't. So you gotta ask yourself that shit when you see so-called uh, your normal men out here with a whole bunch of women. You gotta ask yourself, what is this man really doing? And I'll give you this. And if you're a drug dealer, you can pull it off. That's the only other way. But some men, they just don't want to settle down. So as a woman, it's harder when it comes to this option shit and everybody's for everybody shit because they have way more people in their face. So as a woman, you have to be very humble. You cannot let that ego get to your head. This is why I think the, mo the wannabe popular girls, this is why I think a lot of times they end up being what you would call no uh, whores and men could be whores too so don't take it as an offense but they end up usually being whores because they have all these options and, and and if a woman is not capable of handling options right she's more than likely going to be a, a whore man and, and before somebody say I'm judging somebody I actually like whores I just like a whore that's only for me so nothing wrong with being a, like a hoe well a whore I guess would be, y'all get what I'm saying? I like nasty women, a woman for me though. So I don't judge, I'm not judging. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying a woman gotta be this damn perfect angel, but if a woman is not careful with with her, um, what you would call her ego, it's a good chance that she's gonna get ran through or played or hurt a lot. Because her ego is telling her that a lot of men want her, but that's not really the case. A lot of men want to fuck you. A woman must decipher this. As a woman, you must. Just like a man with money, he must decipher a woman who actually values him because he's has a characteristic of being a great man and handling business versus a woman who strictly only wants to be with him for money. There's a difference. And then if you are the woman who's trying to not Let's say you are a woman who got your ego in check. It's still going to be hard for you because you're going to have a lot of other women out here who are willing to do what a lot of men are doing. A lot of men who are willing to do what a lot... How can I say this? You have a lot of women out here who are willing to do what a lot of men want, which is just a fuck. So therefore, it makes it harder for you. And they. that's why a lot of times a man will send a dick pic to a woman because a lot of other women have given him play off of that. So he's like, hey, I'm gonna do it to whoever, whenever, you see what I'm saying? So a lot of times a, a woman who is not even involved in that type of shit, she still feels the effects of that. Just like a lot of times a man who is not out here involved with running through a lot of women and, and playing women, he still feels the effects of that because a lot of women are already broken by the time they uh, finally realize that a man like this exists or she's already tied up in her feelings with some dummy. So even if even if the perfect man is right there, her feelings are tied up. So she can't really even grasp this dude, even if she wanted to. She can't because her feelings are tied up with some dummy who probably don't even want her anymore or whatever. The relationship's bad or whatever the fuck the case is. So it's a, it's a dirty ass game, man. And if you're not careful with your ego, you're going to pick the wrong person. Bottom line, you know, if, if I let my ego get in the way, then I would think every woman that speaks to me or something, you know what I mean? Uh, 
really likes me. But usually with the man ego, it's different. It's not the same as the woman ego. The woman ego is more of seeing who, who really wants to fuck with you. The man ego is uh, usually, when a man has an ego, it's usually because a lot of women have not rejected him. You know, so his ego is, I'm going to just fuck a bunch of women. And a, and a man, if he's not careful with that too, he will be ran through. Just because he's a man doesn't mean he's not getting ran through. And he will lose his uh, ultimate chance of reaching his full potential as an alpha male. So men, they got shit to lose too. They, either they're going to choose pussy, you know what I mean? Random pussy that everybody else is sharing and fucking. Or they could be an alpha male. But a lot of men don't have that in them. They don't have it in them to, I'm going to go to work, go to the gym, and then go home and, and kick it at the house or something. They don't have that in them. And a lot of women must understand this. They must understand that, again, just because a, lot, a man is involved with a lot of women, there's a reason for that. It doesn't mean your average dude who just doesn't want to deal with, I don't, Let's just say, a man, I don't want to deal with all that. I know what it is. I know that everybody's for everybody, so I'm going to go home after I go to the gym and shit. You know, a lot of women look at that man as boring. Maybe once he got a woman, he'll start going out and doing shit with the woman. Maybe for now, maybe he knows what's out in the world. Maybe he's uh, he has matured. He's not a he's not thinking with a 15-year-old mindset anymore of, I got to go kick it and pop bottles every day and kick it with my boys every day. And these are the type of women, the men a lot of times that when a woman has a kid by him, he don't want to grow up. He want to keep kicking it with his boys. He want to be around his boys more than a woman, which is gay to me. But hey, it is what it is. I think people got their perception of what a man or woman should be like twisted. I don't think people actually sat back and listened or looked. I think people just go off of uh, the, the, uh, the norm. You know, the, the popular, what's the trend? This is the type of guy women want, so I'm going to like him too. This is the type of uh, girl the uh, men like, so I'm going I'm to like that too. Or this is what men do, so I'm going to do it too. All the other men are fucking everybody. So I'm going I'm to look cool in the male circle and, and try to be a player too. You see what I'm saying? But a real man is a leader. and He don't. He could be in a circle full of players and, and say, nah, y'all go ahead, man. I, I catch y'all on the rebound, man. I'm about to go home. To, to my girl or just go home. I, I'm cool uh, kicking it with them girls at night. But you know, that type of shit gets looked down on as lame or something. And that's why, you know, that's why a lot of times people pick the wrong person. It is what it is. And, and not only that, it's their ego. A woman's ego is her ultimate destruction if she's not careful when it comes to men especially. also have to understand that just because a man is willing to call you his woman or something like that it does not mean this motherfucker um, ain't gonna cheat and none of that bullshit a lot of men you know they just want somebody there but they also want to go out and get their rocks off too that's why you have a lot of men who have a problem with their woman on social media, you know, but they'll be on social media all day long liking women's pictures and everything else and, and talking, interacting with every other woman. But let their woman do that, now they got a problem. You see what I mean? You got to understand, a lot of people want their cake and eat it too. So just because a motherfucker say that you my woman, I love you and all that bullshit, that don't mean that they ain't for everybody too. That don't mean they ain't going to go out and get other people. You're better off, you're better off um, thinking with this type of uh, mindset versus thinking that, um, thinking naive. Now, some people might say, well, how are you gonna uh, ever get a woman or man if you think that everybody is bad? You give people the benefit of the doubt, but you don't, you don't, you don't, um, change that benefit of the doubt to, you know, like guarantee until they really make you feel that way. 
this is what this is how you protect your feelings and how you protect getting played and how you protect being blind because you know a lot of people they'll meet somebody the first week or two and say oh, i'm in love and this is the right relationship and all that and they blind themselves from every red flag and everything and this is how you get a lot of women or men especially women because they're usually the ones looking for the relationship this is how you get them in and out of relationship every damn month and what does this cause this causes a lot of men to run through you so then when you finally run into a, a guy that you didn't think existed one day now you might have you know this this baby dad as baggage or a bunch of other bullshit the shit that you could have avoided maybe a man would have wanted you but he knows that you fucked a guy that fucked everybody in the city so he's like damn i can't fuck with him but if you would have had your ego in check you would have been more patient because your ego would have allowed you to scream through the bullshit and your ego would have allowed you to understand, oh, this guy probably just want to fuck. So now let me not do that. It would have saved you a whole bunch of bodies and it would have made you, it would have saved your worth even better for when you do run into somebody because there is men out here that y'all think that don't exist, that do exist. They just not out there like the ones who just want to fuck. I don't know how many times I got to say this. The ones who want to just fuck are going to be all up in your face because that's what they do. You think I'm about to go in a hundred women's inboxes and, 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 and be like, oh, as long as one lets me fuck. No, I'm not doing it. I don't have the energy for that. Plus, I value myself, man. I feel like I'm worth more than that. But a man who wants to just fuck, he don't care, man. He's going to do that. This is why men are all up in women's inboxes. And this is why a lot of women don't respect men. So I don't get mad at women for not respecting men. You know, I, I don't agree with it. But hey, I understand men are the dummies who are making it this way. So it is what it is. Just like women need to understand that women are the ones who are making it the way it is for women. You try to get a woman's number, you get to try to get to know her and shit, and then she started flaking it and all this other shit because she already got 80,000 other people. But see, if her ego was in check, she would be able to scream out who's really trying to fuck with her. But since her ego is not in check and she thinks all, all these niggas want me, she, she not going to know who really want her or not. And she more than likely going to pick the one who is best at lying and deception and deceiving, not the one who's morally more sincere, unless she's attracted to that one who's uh, the sincere one. Some women are lucky, they're attracted to the right guy. But some women ain't. Most women ain't. Most women are gonna be attracted to the wrong motherfucker. That's just the way it is. It doesn't mean that she wasn't attracted to the good guy, but she probably more attracted to the other guy because maybe he's more better with girls. You gotta understand that. When I say a guy's more better than with girls, it doesn't mean he's a better uh, lover or he would be a better husband. He's just more better with girls because he's dealing with multiple women so much that he knows how women operate. He can kind of, it's different. It's different versus a man who, who isn't out here dealing with thousands of women. Whether he's fucking them or interacting with them, it doesn't matter. So a lot of times, the so-called players, this is why they're better at attracting women versus a guy who is not out there dealing with a lot of women. And the same thing can be said for women. Vice versa, a woman who deals with a lot of men, these, these are the type of women who will shit test men and, and run their little games and play their little, little emotional tactics and all these games. They have games just like a man. Matter of fact, women who deal with a lot of men, and I'm talking about female players, their game is better than a man's game. The only way that you, you will need God to screen her out. I'm being serious. Without God, you cannot screen out a female player. She's too, she's too uh, crafty. She's very crafty. Matter of fact, look, this is how crafty she could be. She will give you head and, and be plotting on some some other shit the whole time. Like, they'll do that. Men, it's kind of hard for a man to be that crafty with his lies. You know, a man, he can't really hide his lies. It's pretty much out there. The problem is women let their feelings or their ego uh, block the, uh, the signs. So when I say feelings, they don't want to accept that this guy don't like me. When I say ego, 
they think that the guy likes them when they don't. Same difference, but you know, just different ways about it. Also, when a woman doesn't keep her ego in check, she's gonna look at men who are actually tens or, or men who are actually, should I say, sexual market value equal or better to her, or should I say a man who is actually the best that she probably could get or she should try to fuck with, she's gonna look at that guy as he's not good enough because she's got all these other options. What do I mean by that? Uh, another option might look a slightly better than the other guy or something. You know, there's always something that a, a person might be a little bit better at than, than you, and you might be better at than them. So if people don't have their ego in check, this is where all this bullshit happens. Man don't have his ego in check. Oh, her titties look better. Let me fuck her. Oh, her ass looks a little bit better. Let me fuck her. Her lips look a little bit better. Let me fuck her. All this dumb shit that don't matter. And, and just imagine as a woman <laughs> having to deal with that, you know, um, when it comes to picking men and on top of the fact that you got all these people coming at you and you, it, man, I can see why a lot of women pick the wrong guy. It's not hard. It's, it's definitely not hard, especially if she's not keeping her ego in check and being realistic about herself. But see, the problem is a lot of times, once a woman keeps it real with herself and realize that most motherfuckers is for everybody and they ain't really not trying to fuck with her like that, she don't like that feeling. So instead of dealing with the feeling of reality, let me just lie and, and make myself feel better and act like everybody like me when they really don't. Even, even some of the best people out here don't have a lot of options like y'all think. They have options, but not the, not the real options. You get what I'm saying? Like Kobe Bryant or something. Let's take Kobe Bryant for example. He has all type of options, but that don't mean they're real options. That don't mean they really there for him and all that in the long term. And, and that's what people got to understand when you trying to find a mate. It's all about that. It's not about, oh, this person like me today, but not tomorrow. Or they like me because of just this or just that, but they, they wouldn't put up with me long term and all that bullshit. A lot of women might like me today, but tomorrow they flake and are talking to some other guy. Right? This is just the way it is, people. And once you realize this, you will not be putting yourself out there like that. You will be happy. You won't be sad, oh, I'm, I'm single, I'm sad. No, you won't, because you know why? Because you know what it really is, and you know how hard it is to actually find somebody that really wanna fuck with you. And you also know that there's not that many. So you, you start to realize that this search is gonna take a lot longer to find this, this so-called golden Easter egg. Unless, of course, you don't want the golden Easter egg, then hey, you're gonna be able to find men and women left and right. And this is why, again, people think good women and men don't exist. Because they're coming across people who are out there dealing with everybody. So uh, yes, you're gonna, this is what you're gonna get. You want the quality product? Well, you're gonna have to, that quality product is probably doing something that makes them quality. Not doing shit that's destroying their life. I'm gonna say that shit again. That quality product that you're looking for is probably doing something that makes their life quality, makes them quality. Not shit that destroys their life. I'm not saying going to the club destroys your life, but if you're doing this shit every damn weekend and all the time, what the fuck are you doing? I get it if you like younger, you 21 or something, I get it. But by 25, that shit should be stuck, done. You shouldn't be doing that every weekend. It's okay to go out and kick it, I get it. But every damn weekend and shit and you, you're 25, nah. How you gonna get your life together? You're gonna have to make a sacrifice. That also speaks for character and behavior of a woman or man. Do you really want a woman or man that behaves this way? That doesn't take, you know, priorities more, doesn't have their priorities correct. If they don't have their priorities correct on a low vibration of, I shouldn't go out and drink every day, 
what the fuck do you think is going to happen when it comes to raising a family and having kids and all these other things? Being faithful. Faithful is a choice, people. It's really, um, it's really not like a trait. It's, it's a choice. Because I, I say this because of this. You could wake up one day and run into some girl, like, oh, my girl won't know. This girl fine as fuck. I'm about to just, my girl won't know. Let me fuck her one time. That's a choice. So a man could be a faithful person, you know, but then run into that situation and, and fuck that girl. See what I mean? Or he could be like, nah, I ain't gonna do that, man. Karma. You know, I care about my girl. It ain't worth risking. And I, yeah, I would want, I want to fuck the girl, but I'm not going to do it, you know what I mean? Because I care about my girl more. I don't want to lose my girl more. It's a choice. Just like it's a choice for somebody to talk to you. It's a choice for somebody to be faithful, man. It's the same thing. It's a choice for people to only deal with one person. But you know what? A lot of people are so scared to deal with one person because they know that motherfuckers is out here for everybody. So they're going to talk to other people too and be just like them. And this, and this is why everybody's for everybody. Because everybody's doing it. Oh, well, these niggas talk to everybody. So guess what? I'm going to do it too. Oh, these bitches talk to everybody. So I'm just going to fuck them and talk to everybody too. This is what they do. You, It's very rare you have people who say, you know what? I know, I, I believe in God and I don't want to deal with that. So I'm, I might not be a perfect Christian angel and all that, but I do believe treat thy neighbor how you want to be treated. So yeah, I don't want to deal with that karma. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep it real and hopefully get blessed with the right person eventually. You know, people don't think that way. And then they wonder why their karma is the way it is. You know, why do you, why should God give you something good when you ain't good to people? got men crying about I want, I, I want this wife and all that but you out here sleeping with everybody playing everybody and all that bullshit you don't deserve a wife obviously I'm just being honest and speaking of wives and husbands man you still have people in relationships who ain't safe man and a lot of times it's because they got relationships with the wrong person they didn't screen out these people long enough you know what I mean? A lot of people, you know, will quit on you because they feel like if you don't, uh, if you don't um, commit to them right away, then uh, you don't really want them or something like that. Again, I'm gonna say this shit again. If a person is a valuable person, they are not just gonna just dump off on you like that. It doesn't mean all the time they explore options, which more than likely, a lot of times that's, that is the case, but Usually when you're dealing with a high quality person, they usually are the type of person who know exactly what they want. So therefore, a lot of times it's not the option, it's just them trying to screen you out. But you have people quit on you and say, oh, you didn't give me what I wanted, you didn't marry me in week one, so I'm done. And they doing that because a lot of times they deal, they have dealt with people who are for everybody and those people was talking to everybody. So now they think you're doing it too. In a lot of cases, they are right. But not always. But um, I think as women, you got, as far as women go, you gotta check your ego at the door, man. Leave your ego the fuck where it belongs, somewhere way off somewhere, just like your heart. So two things a woman really need to get rid of when she's dealing with a, a man until she knows, like, yeah, this, this motherfucker really might be fucked with me. It's that damn ego and that damn, that damn heart. Just throw that shit away for now. And take your time liking these motherfuckers. Because nine out of 10 of them just wanna fuck, bottom line. Or even if they don't want to fuck, they just attracted to you because they want to fuck, which is just as bad. Because that usually can end up with, oh, I don't want you no more now. After I didn't fuck you for a couple of years or months, ah, I'm not feeling her no more. Because they, it was lust. So this is danger. This is the danger of a woman and her ego not, not screening out these motherfuckers, man. But, you know, as long as she wants to feel like every man on earth and every nigga, uh, they want me and all that, then she's in for a long ride. Because I'm telling you right now, 
most of them don't want you like that. Just like most women don't want me like that. Now, a person might say, well, why you say that? That makes you look like you're not desirable and all that. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I'm just saying that everybody who seemed like they might want me, it's not true. Also, all I need is one woman to want me. I thought that's what it was all about. See, people caught up in this, I want everybody to want me, and I want everybody to want the person I'm with. I don't give a fuck about everybody wanting me or everybody wanting who I'm with. As long as I want who I'm with, and as long as who I'm with want me, that's all that matters. But people want all these ego trips and all these statuses and all this other bullshit, and this is where people get caught up. People need to check their ego at the door when you trying to find this love shit or relationship shit, whatever you want to call it. Also, when I say that a lot of people might not want me for me, you got to understand this. When a woman, when women have these eagles like this, they might actually want me. But since, oh, all these other guys want me too, it seems like, nah, that's why I don't seem as good as, as I thought, you know what I mean? Because I got this and this and this. See, remember what I said earlier. A guy might have this a little bit better than me, but I might have this a little bit better than him. But when you have a woman who has all these options and her ego allows her to believe that she thinks she really has real options, well then, a lot of these guys are going to look at as subpar. These guys could be superior dudes, but since... I, it seems like everybody wants me. Now you're now you're subpar. It's no different than a, a man with with uh, a man when it comes to men dealing with a lot of women. Oh uh, man, a woman could be the best man, the best woman for this dude. But guess what? She gonna end up being subpar because this dude got all these so-called options. You see what I'm saying? So that makes that woman seem that makes that woman seem like she's not as good as that she really is. That's why a lot of motherfuckers only fuck with you when there's no other options. Now they want to come running back and all that bullshit. You see, it's funny how that works, right? Now you're the best man on earth. Now you're the best woman on earth after all them options are gone, right? But once them options are there, ah, oh, she ain't all that, man. She just a pussy dog. Or he ain't, I'm tired of that nigga man, anyway, man. I'm going to do better. You see how that works? Funny how that shit works, right? I'm telling y'all, be careful with that shit, man. These options, you better weigh these motherfuckers correctly. I'm just being honest, people. I'm giving it to y'all raw and uncut because I know the truth. You know what I mean? And everybody knew the truth. How many people are gonna uh, accept the truth, though? Oh, you got all kind of holes, one. How am I gonna have a, uh, why? Because they see a lot, that's another thing. People, men and women, I bet you got all kind of holes up in your shit. See, what they not understanding is a lot of times when a man has a lot of so-called hoes, he has put himself out there. If you're not putting yourself out there, you're not going to have a lot of hoes. But I tell you who will, the guys who are putting themselves out there. It does not matter if they're on my level or above my level. It does not matter. And, and, and since that, you know, you could come across women who are caught up with another guy, who are already uh, got a bunch of guys in their phone. So therefore, so-called Tawan or whoever the fuck, a, a, a great woman, she's gonna more than likely be looked at as subpar, unless that woman, unless you are exactly what that woman wants, and, or unless you're dealing with a woman who is not dealing with a lot of men. Which is only, it's only possible for a woman to be that if, if she checks her ego. Because if she checks her ego, she ah, oh, he's full of shit, he's full of shit, he's full of shit, he's not worthy, he's, she's going to know. You also have women who love the ego boost, so they just fucking with whoever. You know, even just for attention. They don't give a fuck if you like them or not. They just want to talk to other people and have other people to talk to until they find this so-called perfect person or whatever the fuck. You got that going on too. You got that shit going on with men too. I'll just fuck this girl and this girl. I don't really want them. You know what I mean? But I'll fuck them until I find the one I really want. You got that shit going on too. If somebody really wants you, man, I'm not going to say that they be blowing up your phone every five minutes and all that shit. But you will see some type of consistency, man. 
you're going to see some consistency. Some of y'all take this for thirst. Oh, this man thirsty as hell, man. He won't leave me alone. Maybe that motherfucker want to, you know, women say, if a man like you, he'll move a mountain. Well, maybe that motherfucker feel like he should try to move a mountain for you. Maybe he do like you. See, this is the problem, though. But you know what? Nah, I'll just go after the one who is ignoring me. It's crazy how that shit works, but this is the way it works, man. And ain't much we can do about it. You know what I mean? The only thing you can do about it, if I was you, if you're tired of running across, I'm gonna put it to you like this, because I'm about to pull up at this store. If you're tired of running across a bunch of bullshit ass men, you're gonna have to narrow that shit down. You're gonna have to narrow that shit down to uh, who you think is really legit. Or as a woman, you go put yourself in the the uh, vicinity or the bubble of that guy. I'm not saying go shoot your shot at a guy because a woman shouldn't have to do that. But in this day and age, I, I think a lot of guys who y'all call so-called high value and shit like that, they understand everything I'm saying in this video. So a lot of times they're not about to come to you and put them cells in your uh, fucking phone with 80,000 other men. So really all a woman has to do if she likes a man is just honestly start talking to the guy, speak to the guy, so that's it. She ain't even got to shoot a shot. Just, hey, how you doing today? If the man, if man like you or not, he going to start talking back, man. Plain and simple. It's easy for a woman. So I don't know why women say I can't find the right guy. Yes, you can. You just waiting for the guy instead of saying, go speak to the motherfucker. Motherfucker might think you don't like him. Men, men be like, shit, these women got way too many options. So why the fuck should I go put myself in that position? And a lot of women are going to say, that's not confident, Tawan. That's that's this. I like a guy that's confident. That does not mean the guy's not confident. It just means he's smart. Because I know how these niggas is, man. And I know most of these niggas want to just fuck. So I'm not putting myself in that fucking pool of blood. You get what I'm saying? I, I have faith in God. Even the devil can't... I don't have to... I don't have to put myself in a pool of blood to find, you know, somebody who's meant for me. I feel like God will make that way. So why would I do that? And until then, you just focus on yourself. Focus on your life. Focus on improvement. Oh, uh, but Tom Juan, what if you don't find love and all that? I love myself. Or, or you as a girl or a woman. What if you don't find love? Love yourself. Because there's no guarantee these motherfuckers going to love you anyway. So you sit back waiting on some guy to love you and it might not happen anyway. But you can always love yourself, right? Definitely, man. So, um, yeah, man. But um, a lot of times, the men that are coming up to women, like I say, I'll say it one more time before I go. These are the ones who um, are basically, the only reason, they really ain't confident either. A lot of them. Because if they was really confident in themselves, they wouldn't have to... They wouldn't, um, if a man was really that confident, he would be confident that, hey, man, I don't really got to do much. A, a woman is going to notice me somehow, some way. He wouldn't have to, like, uh, let me go out and holler at 100 women a day and get rejected by 99. Nah, he wouldn't do all that. Think about it. He's confident. He's confident that he's not missing. He's, he's not going to miss out on a great woman because he's confident. He knows, like, man, who wouldn't want me eventually one day? So think about that shit. Now, I'm not saying that the, the right position and opportunity is right there and a woman's right there. Yeah, you probably should start talking to her or something. Like, I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying I think women are waiting for this guy to just run up on them and start talking to them and all that bullshit all the time. It ain't even about that anyway. It's more about a man showing consistency. Who gives a fuck who spoke to who first? I don't believe in shooting no damn shot. I believe in consistency and getting to know somebody. Shooting a shot, what is that? thinking of some clever words to say that's fake so i'm gonna think of something nice to say that's fake but you know it gets a, it gets a uh pass and praise you know what i mean seen the post last night everybody can shoot their shot now who's coming in my inbox and i bet you a bunch of dummies went in there like dummies ain't nothing she and i gonna be satisfied with none of them motherfuckers shots unless she really wants the motherfucker so it ain't about shooting a shot it's about who wants you and who don't which ultimately goes back to what I've been saying. Everybody's for everybody, and the only way they're not for everybody is if they really want you. 
I'm going to say that shit again before I get the fuck up out of here. Everybody's for everybody, and the only way they are not for everybody is if they really want you. So all this, um, you know, texting every five days and all that bullshit, cut that shit short. Maybe, maybe i give them this. I still wouldn't, I still wouldn't uh, let somebody ride with five days, you know what I mean? But, um... I feel like, okay, let's just say five days. Let's say they're really that busy, which they not. You know, people like the upfront. But anyway, I would say at least look for consistency. If you're going to give them the pass for being able to just hit you up or text you every five days, you should at least see consistency every damn five days. But I wouldn't even do that. I would say two days at the most. I think a person who really fuck with you, three days at the most. You, you should hear from them on that third day. No way that you're not crossing their mind within that three-day time frame. But then you have people who, oh, they didn't hit me, so I'm not going to hit them. You have that, too. So you, what you got to do is just check your ego, like I said, hit them up. And then if it goes back to that third day and they ain't hit you up, there's your answer. Let me say that one more time before I get out, out this motherfucker. You have people who say, I'm not going to hit them up because they didn't hit me up. You say, fine, all right, I'm going to be the bigger person and hit them up. And if you hit them up, and then the next time, after that third day, they didn't hit you up, there's your answer. There's no way after that. You already then been the person to hit them up first after the, the uh, disconnection of days, and you didn't hear from them. You got your answer. Trust me on this. Whether you right or wrong with your answer, it does not matter. You cannot take that risk. It's not worth it. So I'd rather be wrong about somebody who did or didn't like me versus thinking somebody did and be wrong. There's a lot of women, oh, I liked you. I, I, okay, you didn't let me. I didn't see it. I didn't see not one sign. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? Because I'd rather, you know, like I said, I'd rather not pick the, I'd rather not think somebody liked me than to think somebody liked me when they don't. And I just feel like if somebody really like you, they're going to let it be known, man. And even, and this is what y'all got to understand too. Sometimes y'all let y'all ego bother y'all about, oh, this person. Sometimes a person would like you, but they involved with everybody, man. They fucking with everybody. They talking to everybody. So how the fuck they going to just like you? It's impossible. Just like a rich motherfucker, man. He got a choice Ferrari, all these Lamborghinis and shit. Shit, he probably gonna get them both. It's gonna be hard to just choose one. So this is what happens when people start talking to all these people. This is their choice. They made it. They have the choice to say, oh, this is a good girl. Let me just stop right here for a while and see what she's about. But who gonna do? Most motherfuckers ain't doing that. Women could do the same thing. This is a good guy. Let me just stop right here for now. Nah. You know what happens? Another motherfucker comes in his, the inbox. Oh, his eyebrows look a little bit better than Twan's. Or he, his lips look a little bit different than Twan's. You know what I mean? But Twan might have this better than him. This is where women get confused because they don't check their ego. They allow all these so-called options to confuse them. And now they don't know what the fuck they want. Same thing with men. They allow the, their ego to get in their way and they start fucking multiple women. Now they don't know what they want. Nikki got bigger titties. Angela got got bigger ass. You know, it's just crazy. And it's the truth, man. So I'm leave y'all with that before I fall behind at work today. I don't want to. So I'm going to go, man. I hope y'all got something out of this, man. But this is true, man. I'm not saying everybody is for everybody. But um, unless, because you do have good people who are willing to commit. You know what I mean? But a lot of times people are using this commitment to get what they want out of people. So you got to check your ego. And the only people who are for everybody is somebody who really wants you. Like they really feel like you are their celebrity type crush. Like you the, you the best thing smoking. You know what I mean? If you don't, if that's not the case, then there's a good chance that they just going to just kind of, you know, talk to you or deal with you, but not on no serious shit. And even if they did, they might, if they don't really feel that way about you, then as soon as that next so-called option come along, because we all know we got them, they're going to fucking flake on you or something. And it, and, and it, why we, if you want to get spiritual, I think the devil does that a lot to people. I think when, when something good comes along, you know, I think God is going to test you. And, and how does God test you? Let's just say Angela is the perfect girl for me. You know what I mean? And then... 
I just met her and we started talking and now the devil starts bringing Nikki and other women along. That's a test. Am I going to pick Angela, the one that God got for me? Or am I going to go ahead and, oh, I got more options now. Let me start talking to more people. And this is what a lot of people do. As a woman, she meets a good guy finally that she likes. And then all the other motherfuckers come along. All the exes and all these other people just start popping out the woodwork. And what she do? Oh, this, this new guy don't seem so good anymore as he did when I was alone. When I was lonely. You get what I'm saying? These are facts. People are only as faithful as their options. And the only people who are who who have a lot of options who still choose to be faithful are people who have morals and values, which is a very high value woman or man. And then the ones who aren't, you're not gonna get that. If they got options, they're gonna be exploring them motherfuckers. Even if they committed to you, they still gonna explore them. Nothing wrong with exploring your options, but the difference between high value men and women versus what you would what shouldn't be considered high value is they don't know how to explore their options correctly. They don't know how to handle their options correctly. And most importantly, mentally, their ego. They don't know how to deal with a man. He don't know how to deal with, uh, let me not just fuck every woman that I see. A woman, let me not just think that every man that claims to be my option is a real option. Let me go though, I'm falling behind. I, I'm gonna holla at y'all. Have a great week. Uh, shit, that's all I gotta say, man. Y'all just stay strong, stay smart, and don't let these motherfuckers play you, man. Don't think with your heart and your ego as a woman. You got to. You gotta do this. And as a man, it's so simple. Stop thinking with your fucking private. And men say, oh, that's soft. Okay, well, dummy, if you don't reach alpha male status, <laughs> then that's your dumb ass fault. Because you're not going to if you, if you fucking a bunch of women. You know what I mean? The only alpha males that are fucking a bunch of women, they've already solidified themselves as an alpha male. You know what I mean? I know some people will say, well, this guy's broken. He's fucking a bunch of women. Yeah, but what type of women? I bet they ain't high quality. Like women, when I say high quality, that means women who don't put up with that shit because they're going to realize, hey, this motherfucker ain't putting me uh, as a priority and she's not going to fuck with that. Only women who will fuck with that is women who you would consider not high quality not because they're not great people but a high quality woman is not going to allow that from a man you get what i'm saying high quality is deeper than just looks or some other dumb shit that people think it's it's deeper than that